Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be looking at doing the HTML and CSS for the project. So um, to start with, let's open up a new browser window and let's go to initializer.com, which I'll put the link below. Uh, if we click on responsive and we just need no template, we can remove this. We don't need any of this. Uh, we can keep minified on um, and then let's download it. So that will give us our file, which I will put on the desktop for now. And we can open this, unzip it. Let's remove this and initialize it. Let's make, let's change it to isometric anim. Okay, and open this and there we go so initializer has given us all our starter files so the first thing we need to do is we need to put the images that we've just made uh, the svgs into the image folder so i'm going to go ahead and open up uh, my folder with all the images that we've just the separated images that we've just made there we go and i'm going to put them into here so that's how we start and then what we want to do um, is open our um, project into our text editor so I like to use brackets so uh, we can drag this onto our brackets folder there we go and we should have it opening and then I'm going to split vertical split and the left hand side I want the index folder. So uh, this is what initializer has given us. Um, we can remove this and we can start adding in our own um, our own HTML now. So uh, let's start by um, let's we need to add an ID. So let's go um, class of ID. Let's say big. Slay big slay trigger because we need a, a trigger. I'll explain this later, but um, this is what's going to trigger the animation as we scroll down. So let's go like this. Uh, we also need this to be a class. So let's go class equals, and um, we need it to be pinned. So we're going to call this pin the slay or pin slay sorry rather uh, and let's give it let's have another class of big slay okay um, <clears throat> so that's our main wrapper inside this we're going to need a container so let's go give this a class of container um, and I'm going to do another class inside of this called uh, container inner oh I don't need that there okay so that's uh, then inside this this is where we want all our images so we're gonna go image source equals and then we want to go IMG and then uh, Let's put our present one here. <coughs> Excuse me, and we can remove the alt text for now. Okay, uh, obviously, if you're building a proper project, you should have that in. But for now, let's keep it out. And then we duplicate this line, and we're going to go present two. There we go. And we're going to duplicate this, and we're going to go present free and we're gonna duplicate this and go present four and we'll duplicate this and I can't remember the name of the other one so let's see what we've got we've got our slay two and duplicate this and we've got slay three by the looks of it and we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna go slay four and what have we got? Is there any more in there? D. 
uh, for duplicate uh, and what else have we got let's have a look let's see so we've got slay 2 slay 3 slay 4 then I've called one slay side 1 and was there another one I think there was slay side 2 wasn't there let's see slay slay side 2 okay so I think that should be everything so let's save this and let's take a look what we've got here we should see all of our parts there we go so here's all of our parts as I'm scrolling down now we need to put them in some sort of some sort of order so let's go back to our brackets folder uh, and we're going to want to position these absolutely so let's put in a let's give these a class of let's say absolute position so abs pos and we want to copy this and we're going to give a class of abs pos to all of these images there we go uh, let's just space that one space that one that one that one and that one okay um, so that's going to position them absolutely and then what we want to do is we want to label these as well um, so we're going to need to give them classes of almost of what what they're called here uh, that's so that we control them later uh, with uh, with our animation so let's say this one is um, what should we say present present one oh print present one present two um, it makes it easier if you can label them sort of the same name as the SVGs present three present four and we're gonna say slay two slay three uh, slay four and slay side one and last one slay side two now if we come across if we open up our CSS file in here main.css and we open that on the right we can bin what our initializer had given us and um, let's position the abs pos first so let's go dot abs uh, actually no let, let's do that let's do the container um, so let's go dot container and I'm going to give this a width of 800 pixels uh, we're going to give it a height of 800 pixels we're going to position it relative position relative um, and we want to center this so we want to go left 50% and top 50% and then we want to bring it back so transform and then translate and we're going to go minus 50% and comma minus 50% that'll bring it back into the center okay um, then we're going to position the big sleigh so let's go so this here big sleigh big sleigh and um, let's give this a background of the red which is um, C715 and 19 okay that's given us our background I can position this as relative and we're going to give this a width of a hundred percent and a height 
of 100%. Okay, um, now let's position our um, let's position our absolute positioning. So we need to go dot abs pos and position absolute and um, let's see how this is looking now anyway um, so let's go here okay so we have right up the top there are we pulling back something let's go let's have a look um, we need uh, ah okay so I need a height of a hundred VH not a hundred percent so a hundred viewport height let's have a look and there we go that's more promising even though it looks like a complete mess um, okay so next we're going to sort out uh, the, the layers and get that bit right right okay so uh, let's go back to brackets and um, let's see so the what we need to do is make sure that these are in the correct order so everything on the bottom let's see so we've got these are on the top so if we were to move present one so we need sleigh side one above don't we we need the edge of the sleigh so if we remove this and put this at the top how does it how do we how do we look now there we go so we've got that above there now um present one present two present three so let's try let's let's see what happens if we move these here save nothing's happening okay uh, so oh yeah something's happened there so we've got that that bits right now this bit here slay side one that should be above so if we move that down there underneath and refresh there we go so that that's getting there we're getting there guys we are getting there um, and present was this present one I can't remember which what that was but anyway let's see um, let's have a look so slay side we definitely need present one so we've got these in the wrong order so if we go present four present three present two and present one and refresh there we go so that's stacking up good um where is slay side two slay two so we can see that that's the bottom that's looking like it's in the correct place apart from this let's go here slay four needs to come nearer the top that's it that should be it shouldn't it yep there we go this the present should be above this angle here so is that the top one i can't remember so slay side two this needs to be so we're going to cut that and we're going to put that above the present is that going to work refresh there we go that's coming in and then we need we're missing the back of the sleigh aren't we by the looks of it let's just go back into our images and check so we've got 
and then run out there so it's lay side back we're missing so if we copy and we're gonna go we're gonna duplicate this and we're gonna go slay side back SVG okay and we're gonna probably need to move that around anyway yeah so that's this needs to come to the back there we go let's see if that works there there we go there we go uh, are we missing a present somewhere let's see we've got let's go back here it looks like we're missing one present somewhere uh, I'm not sure what number that is but we can go back here it's like a purple we've got one two three four five there it is so it's present five we're missing so let's copy this this one and then we're going to put present five remember to change our class name and present five okay let's just check we've got one two three four five did we change slay side two slay two slay three we, we need to make sure that all these class names are still different so there we go let's refresh oh not that one this one so we're right underneath with our latest present so let's move this and let's put it here present five and we're going to refresh that and there we go and then we just need to bring up this one which was here I think so should we move that down here slay side one I think there we go guys and we're all done so that's uh, put our HTML and that's put them into the uh, correct order so I think for now that is everything we can do until we move on to the fun part which is going to be the animation okay thanks for watching again guys if you've got any comments or questions just uh, leave them below and I'll get back to you but um, yeah thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one <laughs>